Why well, don't I have one of those cars where the camera just sits and I can talk? Does that work? Maybe. <laughs> um, I've just got to the midwife, so I've had a rubbish few days. I've had a UTI, which I think I've touched on anyway on my channel. I and I'll leave a link to about that because actually I posted that on Instagram on my story and someone also had a UTI but they didn't know anything about it so I will leave a link to the NHS website below where you, it tells you all the information what UTI is and all that kind of stuff so I'm on antibiotics for that but I still have I've also got a cough and a cold I think my immune system is so low now I pick up anything like anything that's going around I get it so I've had the flu jab, someone also said that. Obviously I haven't got the flu, it's just like a cough and a cold. So I've had all that, which has really been affecting my sleeping. And when I don't sleep properly, I'm no good the next day. And it's funny saying that, because obviously I've got two newborns on the way. But I just feel like I've been pregnant twice before. I've had a newborn twice before. And I just feel like I cope better with a lack of sleep when I'm not pregnant. Like when I'm not pregnant, I'm like, you just kind of get on with it because your body isn't feeling so drained. Whereas when you're pregnant, it's so hard to get any rest, especially with a bump this big. You can't really get comfortable. You're up a lot of times in the night to go to the toilet. So I feel like the third trimester with twins has hit me this last few days. From then, I, like before that, I was saying I feel really good. I'm doing really well, but but now I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah, I don't want to say I'm struggling, because I wouldn't call it struggling, but I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it, and I'm also feeling the pressure that is so close to Christmas, and they could come at any time, and I just feel like it's such bad timing. Oh, I do. Like when obviously we. I conceived I thought January brilliant you know get Christmas out of the way um have a baby in the middle of January but obviously it's twins that doesn't work like that so I just I don't know just for the pressure and because I've got two boys I worry about them more than I'm obviously not worried about me missing Christmas I'm worried about them missing out because I might not be there so yeah i don't know anyway let's see how the midwife goes see what my blood pressure's doing uh yeah i don't really know what else we do at this appointment because i know i know i'm having a planned c-section so don't, we don't need to discuss birth or anything like that so let me dig my notes out which are stuffed down there and um i'll see you when i'm out okay sorry about the lighting we are actually on our way to hospital because I said I haven't been feeling right the last few days earlier in the video and um what was I gonna say oh went to the midwife obviously got high blood pressure which I suspected so I knew I had a midwife appointment so I'm really pleased about that that it got picked up so I've got high blood pressure I've got protein in my urine God, do I talk enough about urine on these pregnancy vlogs <laughs> um yeah and and loads of things like that so i'm on my way to the iuh i don't know what's going to happen there because the same thing happened with jensen that this happened but they just kept me in on medication because they didn't have time to one day, but no induce one. me yeah i don't know what's going to happen but this man jc will be probably keeping you updated a bit more than me um, i've also had the most horrendous back pain I don't know what that's all about, I don't know why, but yeah, there we go, see you soon. I'm in the hospital, uh, Lucy's just gone to give a sample, and I'm just waiting, I just sat here waiting, so I don't know what's going on. Update, obviously we're just waiting for the doctor. Um, Lucy's hooked up, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Hooked up, got quite a lot of back pain. Obviously, they're just monitoring the twins' heart. Where is it? On that. 
Twin one, let's call it, was a little high, but I think she's just wriggling around, having a bit of a mess about. This is just not too high, but high. And basically, we're just waiting for the doctor, but we're gonna have to wait for quite a while, I think, because there's only one doctor on the ward at the moment, so she's got to go around everyone. I assume it's a she, maybe it's a he. Um, so just waiting now, just to get updated, basically. Hello, Phil, you been? So, tap, try and inform him if you can. What's so, going on? over on the delivery suite, yeah. this baby's heart rate was really high, both of them. And I'm in a lot of pain, like contracting pain. Yeah, and your back. Contracting pain and back pain, yeah. Uh, and you, what's the thing I'm you really told hot. me on the scale? What was the thing you told me? I didn't know oh, about. The contraction scale on the ah. monitor, yeah. So, you were, are actually having some sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. to know. We don't know yet. Don't know yet. We're just waiting for the doctor. We've been moved to, where is this? Delivery suite. Though. Delivery suite. See, I don't really know what I'm on about. I just follow everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, good at I just sit here and then follow them there and then He's follow them. He's good at monitoring the baby's heart rate though. Oh, because I'm you obviously into my Jensen. fitness yeah. and I know what heart rates and that are and what is good, what's not. And obviously research. So I do know that over 160 is high for a baby and under 100 is low. Oh, sorry. So. That's where I come into play. Uh, and we just went for a doctor, obviously, to see what the score is, really, isn't it? But this is the most pain you've been in the whole time. Oh, 100%. Definitely, yeah. yeah. She in had a any little. In my pregnancies. In any of the pregnancies, I reckon. I'm measuring 43 weeks. You're measuring what? 43 weeks. I can see. It looks really like, bottom looks really tight. This is all tight. This yeah, so yeah. Tight. Oh, isn't it? No. Ah, oh, that's really so tight. A bit of fat there, actually. <laughs> from Jessie's pregnancy, never gone, right, okay. still there now, but this is all tight. Is rubbing it doing anything? Yeah, it does, just walking around and okay. moving helps. Right, okay. Well, we'll check in after the doctor's been here. Good morning. Uh, where did we leave you? I think we left, well, I don't know where we left you, it doesn't matter, but... I obviously went home, I grabbed the boys from Sophie's, it was about half ten, so I thought I'd just pick them up, because obviously they'd be better at home, um, then they slept in my bed, obviously, with me, because they didn't want to sleep anywhere else, they were asking about the twins, I said, twins not out yet, they were like, okay, when twins coming, I said, don't know, so... Lucy messaged me this morning at six o'clock. One of the twins' heart rates had dropped uh, under a hundred. So if it's under a hundred, it must be a concern. So they took, they've taken her down to delivery suite, and she's back on the monitor. And I've just come up R U H. So let's see what happens. I'm just waiting, I mean, we're just waiting, obviously, the handover is at 8 o'clock with the doctors. Um, they've given Lucy the steroid injection. You've got to have two injections, I, th I believe, and that is for the baby's development of lungs. If, um, if they are early or premature, which they will be, they'll be 36 weeks. So they wanted to, obviously, give her the injections or get them in. Uh, before they got the babies out, that's what I'm understanding. We'll see what happens today. I just we just keep you informed. Everything. Um, it's going to be a very interesting time. I, I mean, I got a bit of sleep. I went to bed about. Well, I I did some washing and that when I got home because obviously I left and it was a state. So I put some washing and that on. Just tidied up in general. Jensen's at school. Jesse's with my dad. Um, just see, play it by ear today. Obviously, it may be today, it may be tomorrow. Until uh, I'm going to go in there now and we'll find out what the, what the gossip is. Here she is. Obviously, why is it flashing like that? Because it's low light. The ah, okay, so these lights, guys, it's just flashing because... Uh, yeah, so I had a good night's sleep. Yeah. But now we're back on delivery sleep because the heart rate's up and down. Mm. It was twin one, now that's okay. Now it's twin two. So we're waiting to see the doctor in literally five minutes and look at that. 
That's too enough bleed. So you've got a drip on for fluids because okay. you're not allowed to no eat or drink. And then they're obviously on the monitor. They're obviously going. I mean, they were dropping. Yeah, look, 100, 402. So I'm just going to wait and see in two minutes. The so the other one's playing up now. So last night, this twin one was high, yeah? Yeah. She was like one, high. Yeah. 190 highs. And now they're dropping to low. I know. And then, it's a good job I said, it's only because I mentioned the midwife asked me this morning at 6am. Right. Oh, like, how, you, how you feel? I said, I'm feeling fine. Yeah. Pain's gone. Right. I was like, I'm feeling okay. She's like, have you felt a move? I was like, felt one move, but not this one. And then she got a doctor on there and it was really low. She's like, right, okay, we're going to have to get a doctor in. Okay. So this is where we are now. Right then. Well, that's where we are. And hubby hasn't eaten. I told him to eat before he came. Oh, my stomach's hurting already. Oh my god. I'll be alright. Once you get through the hunger pains, it doesn't really matter. And Jordan's had to do my hair. Oh yeah, yeah. Guys, what do you reckon? Jordan did this. because First time I've ever hard. done, you know, hair in my life. I can't do it. <laughs> Jordan's had to do it. Oh my god. And we're in a little room. Just waiting on the outcome. Doctor's going to be here in a minute. And then obviously we'll see. Well, they'll just tell us, I suppose. They might get you in, they might not. Morning, guys. It's, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Uh, I just got to the hospital. You probably think I just wear this all the time, but it's actually been raining all the time. So I've just been in a coat. Is it the big day today? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But I'm just going to go see Lucy. I bought a few things from home. She wanted a blanket and a breastfeeding pillow. Um, let's go see how she is and see what the what the score is. Go on, darling. Tell We're them. Going down. We're going down. We thought it wouldn't happen today, didn't we? Yeah. We both sat here like. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going down. So going we're down. Been sat here for not that long, and we're actually going down. Ooh. So I'll, I'll film what I can. I might stay. Do what we can. So just having our obs. I'm nil by mouth, but I'm allowed sips of water. Thank you, hubby, for getting me in. I put them on oh, for her. Look at the size of my legs and feet. They're so big, mm. so swollen. So we're just having our obs. And we're just waiting, aren't we? Just waiting. For them to get set up and ready. Yeah, exciting. Exciting times. Very thankful for the NHS for fitness in. They've done an amazing job. Mm. All the midwives have been so nice, haven't they, George? Mm-hmm. We're so lucky. So it was at this point that. We went into theatre. I've lost my voice, by the way. Don't even know why. I actually don't know why. So it was at this point we went into theatre and everything went really well in theatre, didn't it? Yeah, it took about an hour and 45. It took quite a long time. Mm. Yeah, but you had um, two, so. Yeah, we had two. And we have twin one. And I wish I had the twins here now to show you. But they're both in Nikki, so we will insert some clips and pictures. So they're we, doing well though. They are doing on well. The mend. So we have twin one and she weighed six pound three, a massive size, I mm -hmm. think, for twins. Then we have twin two and she weighed five pounds seven. Mm -hmm. I should have put you to the test there. I knew it anyway. Oh, did you? Yeah, don't, don't, worry, so about Jordan, don't worry about that. <laughs> Jordan will insert some pictures of them. We don't have loads of footage of them at the moment. I just got some pictures in theatre, that's what was allowed the pictures. Yeah. So, mm. so um, they're obviously in NICU now, which we probably filmed a bit of, and um, they're both doing really well actually as of today, as of day nearly, well, not nearly 24 hours post labour. They're both doing really well. Hopefully, they'll be on the same ward soon in NICU. So, one's on the more special care ward because yeah. she, um, she had mucus on her lungs. She was in an incubator while you think you'd seen the things. Yeah, and. And the clips and twin number two had low blood sugar mm -hmm. so and they got infections well, they've got infections yeah yeah so they're just trying to make them better i'm doing everything i can so i'm expressing mm -hmm. i'm trying to get them on the breast twin two's doing really well with breastfeeding isn't she yeah she's that's a good great. odd suck but twin one hasn't quite got it yet but but she's literally only just come off of her oxygen mm -hmm. so we're gonna go down after we film this and uh Go and see, go and give her another go. But 
Yeah, so we can't really show them like properly. We'll do the best we can and put pictures and clips. We do have clips, don't we? Yeah, we did clips when we went down just now. Mm. Oh yeah, so yeah. you'll see them. Um, so yeah, everything's going really well. The only thing I'm really struggling with is the paint because I have to keep getting myself down to Nico. That's tough and obviously Jordan helps me as much as he can. He's amazing, but he can't be here all the time because we've got two other children. Yeah, we've got to go back to the boys. Right? So, I'm struggling with being immobile and doing the best I can. A bit tired. Um, yeah. But I'm expressing, which is really good. So my dad is coming in in a bit with the boys and he's bringing me in my proper breast pump. So if I can start going on that and then even if I'm immobile and there's no one to take me down, I can at least give my milk to the NICU staff. And but hopefully in a couple of days, they'll be allowed out. With me. Mm. They won't be allowed out. No, they won't be allowed, allowed out. out Nikki. Allowed out yeah. Nikki. And they'll be in my room with me. So hopefully that won't be long. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the bit I'm struggling with at the moment is being so mobile that I can't be there. We are there a lot, but I have to rely on Jordan mm -hmm. to help me out. We did like a three hour stint this morning. Yeah. Come back up, just get the pain relief. Because then I miss out on my pain relief when I'm down there. Quick bit of lunch for loose, then yeah. we'll go back down. So it's hard, because if you're down there, you don't get any pain relief. Yeah. And then you can't go <coughs> back to square one, mm. because when you don't have any pain relief post-C-section, I've had a terrible... Oh, right, guys, I watched it all as well. <laughs> yeah, you did. I don't know if that's weird, but I actually watched it all, because mm. I wanted to see how it worked. I saw him in the other, uh, other C-section, so I was used to that problem. No. They're quite rough. Yeah. Put it that way. Hence why I'm a lot of pain. Yeah. But we can't wait to show you guys a proper look when they're out of Nico. Yeah. And they're up here and got all the gorgeous outfits and that, but at the moment it's just like... Your little hair wash. We're all a bit covered in blood. Yeah. yeah. They've got the full head of hair. Twin one has got a full head of dark hair. Yeah. And twin two has... I'd say... Look, like receded Jordan's like hair. me. She's slightly receded. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she looks like Jordan. <laughs> Um, because of her hair. What is that, the smaller one, yeah? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. is the smaller one at the moment. Yeah. So she was a five pound seven one. It's all been a bit of a rush, so we haven't had... And they're bound to, to have lost weight as well, as yeah, we both said to each other. Be. Because they're a NICU. I mean, they've even, they've even been nil by mouth. Yeah. At some point, so that means that they just will not... they got little things in their hands and it's bloody, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible, because yeah. I've got one. And they have <coughs> them, but it's so much worse. It's yeah. bad enough for and me. And they keep pricking their foot. Yeah. And then they're, they're covered in... Little pricks and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're covered in blood. Not yeah. in a horrible way, but... Like, I just had... I've had to change my pyjamas because I went down this morning and I come back covered in twin twos mm. blood where they were doing all the tests. Only a little bit, guys. But yeah, yeah, it's obviously bit, but it's what they've got to do to get all the stuff in and that. Yeah. So if it didn't have it, probably and the NHS annoying. have been so amazing. Mm. I think that just goes without saying, to be honest, how mm -hmm. amazing all the midwives, all the doctors have been. Mm -hmm. We're very lucky. Mm -hmm. um, we're just looking forward to the next few days and getting them well, and hopefully back up here with me. And then the next step will be home time. But I don't think we can even think about that's home like time a week yet. away. I think yeah. Yeah, we that we don't easy. think um me and the more the twins are going to be home any time soon, do we? Nah. Well, within a week we're talking. Maybe Probably not for Christmas, but that way. No, I doubt it. Not no. with all their little bits and bobs they've got going on, no, but we'll see. We'll see. Wow! Oh, oh, wow, you've got some balloons! Yeah, look what's going on. Say hello, sister. Sunday. Hello, Sunday. Your sister's in the car. Oh, it's your baby sister. Is that one of them? One of yeah, them. Yeah, one of them. And one of them's not feeling very well, so she's with the doctors downstairs. So that is your baby sister. What do you think? Mm. She, Jen, oh, she looks so like funny. Jensen. Is that so cute? Mommy, you know my oh, oh you? thank you. Thank you, darling. How are you then, darling? <laughs> you feeling good? What do you think then, Jens? I'm good. The, yeah, your other sister's downstairs. What do you reckon, Jess? Mommy, you want me to die? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to die? Mum, which one did you put That's Monday. Which one did you put We haven't properly named them yet. Haven't named them properly. Amy, her. Her. Yeah. Thank you. Look, you can rock her cot. 
good boy. That's what you can do, like that. Oh, right. You can rock her like that. You can hold her in a minute if you want. There That's we your go. baby sister. Your baby sister, mate. That's what do you think? Twin. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, Nan? Good. Is it good? Yeah. Yes. That's your little sister, gents. Your little what sister. do you think? Jessie, Pretty? Do you? Pretty? Mommy. Yeah. Look at her cute Mommy little face. And the other Mommy. twins downstairs. Mm. There she is. Twin. Two. One. Oh, twin two. Oh, I'm getting mixed up already. Me and Jordan have been expressing for twin one who is down in Niku. We've managed to get a mill of colostrum, so we're very impressed. And twin two over here has low blood sugar levels. So I've also expressed for her and the midwife has um, given her some sugar and she's had some colostrum. So we're hoping that comes back up soon. We've got one twin in NICU because of mucus on her lungs and they're treating her for a potential infection which she may not even have but they just think that's the best thing to do. The toilet's going in the background, sorry, it's not us, it's a refilling. And the lung can't strong enough. Yeah, they don't think her lungs are quite strong enough yet. Now twin two is going down to join her because she has low blood sugar levels. So I need to get out of bed basically as soon as I can. They both need my breast milk because that's the best thing for them. So in about an hour, me and Jordan are gonna try and get me out of bed and get me in a wheelchair oh, down yeah. to Niku so we can get their food going. I think she's hungry. Yeah, look, she's not. A mouth go. Here she is, guys. Here's our little twin too, but I don't reckon she's hungry, Jordan. We've literally been force feeding her. To try and get her blood She's sugar had level 0.2 down. mils. And she just she she was sucking really well at the start, but I think she's completely full up now and is like I don't want any more food. So I want to leave her a bit so she then sucks again. Cuz I don't want her to express. I'd rather feed her directly and then express the twin one. Yeah. So yeah, that's our plan of action anyway. Girl's giving me grief already. It's yeah. Day one. Well, I know. We're not getting much sleep tonight. That's for sure. We're on breastfeeding emission. Most thing, important thing, is that a health thing? We kept them sorted. That's right. Quarter past midnight. Quarter past midnight. We've just filled up a load more syringes to take down to Niku. Hubby and his wife have just filled up these. So we're going to take them down to Niku. I've just got out of bed after my operation was about, what, six? Six hours ago. I feel all right, to be fair. Um, yeah, I feel good. So I'm in my wheelchair, Jordan's not doing such a good job of pushing me if I'm honest. He just literally let me go. He just pushed me and so I was like, no, you need to hold on at all times. Thank you. Um I'm going to give these to the girls. So here is our twin one. They say she's doing well. We've pumped a lot of milk for her. I can't really see her in there to be honest. Um and here is our twin two. Do you want to film my job because I can't really do it? And his twin two? She's got the cannula in. She's ready for a stay tonight. Yeah. Hey, love. Here's twin two. Twin one. Oh, this is twin one. Oh, look, she's a lot better this morning. Wow, well, midday, ready to be, try to feed. So we're gonna try the first feed. Come on, baby. So names wise, we're gonna reveal the names soon, don't worry. Just going through it actually. We're just we're going. Picking them soon. Yeah, and it's just been such a whirlwind with this whole Nikki <clears> thing. So we hope this video will be out even earlier, but because we've been so busy, it's not. But I don't think we've done too bad. I'm going to edit it now while you have lunch. Yeah. Jordan's disappointed because he can't have the canteen food. I don't want but, the canteen um, food. That was lovely, wasn't it? Was that? I haven't actually seen the canteen food, so I don't want one But thank you so much for watching. Plenty more videos to come from us. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys soon.